I got some undies. Damn, they're tight. But it's cool that Allison was able to find them for me. Hey, Jonathan. Yeah, what's up? Ow. I just walked outside of our hut, and I stepped right in poop. And I was like, what the heck is this? And there's just complete buzzing flies all over it. And I was like, wow, there's a dog on the, there's no dog on this island. And then I was like, oh. I have now diarrhea. I'm feeling very weak, so I'm running, running down low. This water that's been sitting in the well has probably been sitting there for years. And so it's very dirty, contaminated water, and now I'm paying the price for it. I maybe mean, have no control of my bladder, my defecation or whatever. I don't, I'm not trying to like embarrass you, but I don't embarrass. understand. You're not, you're not gonna embarrass me. I want you to speak your mind. Okay, well, I just, I would never, ever go to the bathroom near a shelter, and I don't know Okay. that's something. Th that's, if you have diarrhea, what can you do? You just gotta drop child right there. But then do you just leave it? No, I buried it with coconuts and all stuff. You're right. I, I stepped in it. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know you'd go back that far. It was right behind our shelter. No, it's 30 feet. You're right. I'm sorry about that. I, I, I'll man up and apologize, OK? That, oh, I that won't That it. won't happen again. There is an extremely important rule in survival that you go to the bathroom a certain distance away from your fort and a certain depth in the ground. You don't go poop 10 feet from your shelter and leave it uncovered. She was right. I'll give her credit on that. She was right. Maybe it is my fault. Let bygones be gone on. bygones. Let's uh, move on. That water he drank gave him diarrhea. If Jonathan can make that kind of a rash decision, it really makes me question our roles here and how much I can trust him. Maybe, I don't know, explore some other options of ways to get some food or... You tell me how, I'll do it. <laughs>